Problem one, Stephen, this is for you. Feel free to join in, but this one for Stephen particularly, the fossil record. The Cambrian, Cambrian, how's it pronounced? In Either the way. Yeah. All right. The Cambrian or the Cambrian explosion. What was it and why is it a problem for Darwin? It was a problem that Darwin himself knew about in 1859. The Cambrian explosion is the, uh, refers to an event in the history of life in which the major groups of animal forms, uh, the new body plans that are exemplified by the largest categories of different types of animals, uh, appear very abruptly in the fossil record with no discernible connection to ancestral precursors or intermediates in the lower Precambrian strata. And this pattern of abrupt appearance of the major groups of organisms, of biological or morphological innovation, as it's called, recurs up and down the sedimentary rock column. The first in uh, winged insects, the first dinosaurs, the first birds, the first mammals, the first flowering plants. There are multiple instances of this type of abrupt appearance. And so the fossil record looks very different than Darwin anticipated that it would look. He depicted the history of life as a great branching tree where the the forms of life we see today emerge gradually from one or very few simple forms at the base of the tree, at the trunk of the tree. But instead what we see, it looks more like a lawn or perhaps an orchard of separate trees where the major groups of organisms appear abruptly without connections to those ancestral pre precursor forms. So uh, uh, the Cambrian explosion was the first that got noticed. As you say, Darwin himself noticed that this was a problem, but uh, this is from my reading, add to it or correct me. As I've got it, the record shows one abrupt, abrupt meaning a few million years, but in the geologic time, that's the blink of an eye, one abrupt event after another. Photosynthesis, just all of a sudden it's there. The Avalon explosion, the great Ordovician biodiversification event, whatever that may have been. The Silurian Devonian terrestrial explosion. Fish appear, birds appear, dinosaurs appear, mammals appear. Okay. So the obvious objection to this is, well, we've only really been digging since about Darwin's time. The Earth is big, geologic time is essentially endless, there are fossils there. We just haven't found the intermediate forms. Right, that's an, uh, an objection to the claims about fossil discontinuity that's known as the artifact hypothesis. And the idea is that the, the missing ancestral forms are an artifact either of incomplete sampling yes. or incomplete preservation. Right. The Cambrian explosion itself poses a, a, presents a very nice test of that artifact hypothesis. Uh, the, the claim with, with respect to sampling is that, the, uh, that we haven't looked long enough. Well, right. We're 160 years on now from the Cambrian, or from, from the publication of The Origin of Species. And the, the, the Cambrian explosion, from our point of view, has become even more explosive. There are more new forms of life, no, more new animal forms known now in that Cambrian explosion event than there were in Darwin's time. And yet, with that passage of time, we've found no more of the, the intermediate. So there are more new forms still, all of which are still lacking intermediate so forms.